New Year's Day, about 12 o'clock noon, uh, there'll be a New Year's Day message from the pastor that we'll post, we'll put it out there on the app and on the emails, something that you might uh, look at maybe tomorrow or the next day. But I share that because I'm going to talk here for a moment, as I did in that message to the parish, about the first reading today from the Book of Numbers, which has always had sort of a, a special place in my heart and my life. There's a tradition, if you will, at ordinations of priests that they would bestow upon people individually what's called their first blessing as a priest. And that was the custom of 46 years ago when I was ordained a priest. And the blessing that I used was this blessing from the book of Numbers that we heard today at my first uh, blessings, if you will, as ordained priest. It seems to me that this reading is most appropriate for our world and for each of us any time, but maybe especially in this time of living with and through a pandemic. Seems to me it's appropriate that we're being reminded by our God that he cares for us. That our God certainly blesses us, no matter what's happening in the world or in our lives, whether it's good times in our lives, or whether it's troubled times in our lives or someplace in between, or even if it's a pandemic. The pain and the sorrow, the sickness and the death, and all that is not good about a pandemic certainly cannot be dismissed. It's real. We're living through it. We know it. But at the same time, we cannot dismiss the presence of God, the blessings of God in the past 12 months. The blessings of dedicated, beyond dedication, by health care workers in their care of the sick and the dying. The blessing of the outreach of people to assist the needy, as is seen particularly in the many food distributions that happened across our world, across our country, and even in our own locale. The blessing of being able to take a breath, to take a breath from the every second hecticness that seemed to be part of our lives pre-COVID. There's a little newsletter the priests get, and in it one of the priests did a little reflection. He talked about how there was a change that happened in his life when March and April came around this past year. He said, I wasn't as busy as I used to be. I wasn't running from one thing to another. He said, and there's something of value in this little lull, if you will, that we don't have to run from one thing to another. And maybe there's the opportunity, the blessing that comes about because now we can appreciate the time we have with other people, whether it's on the phone or whether it's with them in person, starting with our families starting with the opportunities, you know, to, to do whatever. You hear that, somebody told me that it was hard to find materials, you know, for renovations because everybody seemed to be using that time to make the reservation, uh, uh, renovations in their house that needed it for years. Now is the time. You hear about people who, you know, they said, here's an opportunity. I'm going to learn a new language. One show today talked about how people were learning to cook, or at least make some gourmet meals. 
My question to you today is, how have you been blessed amidst it all in 2020? Think about it. Also think about how you were a blessing, directly or indirectly, for other people in 2020. There's a lot of good that happened there. We need to acknowledge it. And as we enter 2021, sure, we have lots of hopes and prayers that things will improve, and we certainly hope so. But hopefully we also pray that we'll continue to grow in acknowledging, in sort of seeing, if you will, the love of God that God has for us. The love of God that continues to unfold in our lives and the lives of others in the year to come. And we also pray that we will continue to be a blessing to one another in the year to come and beyond. Because in the end, we're brothers and sisters, yes, but we're also brothers and sisters, daughters, sons of God.